Right, sitting in conversation this morning with uh, Patricia Delil. I think we can now call him or her the uh, former mayor of Cape Town. And uh, she's just responding to the events that uh, happened yesterday. And we left off the interview by wanting to just unpack now these accusations against you. So some of the things that have come up is, firstly, I mean, we can't go into everything because it is, it, it, it is a lot, but I think they were made a little bit clearer yesterday. Undue influence, particularly with um, appointing the city manager, um, Ahmed Ibrahim. Improper appointments. And this is, again, again something where they're saying that the appointment of Limia Esop to the stadium management board was not right. Uh, fail to exercise your duty as a mayor. Um, again, just something they go into deep, no, Leanne, deep, deep Leanne. detail on. So, so help us here. Talk to us about them. I mean, there are a lot more, but those are just four that I've read, or three. No, no. Th thank you for, for, for reading out the few. Leanne, did you see any name of any person that brought that allegation? Did you see any date there? Yeah. Did you see the specific incident that happened? I'm challenging the DA leadership today. I'll avail myself any time from 12 o'clock onwards. We can sit with all of those allegations and we can work through them in an open public meeting with the media. And then we, I have been asking for specific details around all of those allegations for the past six months, Leanne. Okay. They're repeating the same nonsense. I have gone as far as going to court. By the 3rd of May, two months before the 3rd of May, the court ordered the DA to provide me with the record and the evidence of the Steenhuisen report. The court ordered the DA to give me a copy of the letter written by J.P. Smith, because that is the, the basis of the Steenhuisen report. When we arrived at court last week on the 3rd of May, Leanne, they failed to produce any evidence. In fact, I now have to bring a separate application to now force them to give me the information. So I invite Musi Mamani, James Self, Natasha, whoever of them is available today. Mm. Let's settle this thing once and for all. Yeah, yeah. And let's call the media in there and you bring the evidence because they are repeating lies. And by repeating the lies, they hope that the lies will stick. But they're insulting the intelligence of all South Africans with the way they are behaving now. I challenge them for today. Let's go and sit and sort it out. Yeah. You, you actually date this back to uh, almost these divisions um, at around... 2014, you, 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 during a press conference, I'm just, for people that missed this, you spoke about, yeah. in, a, in, a, in a meeting, you spoke about transformation. You wanted to transform the city. And this wasn't taken very well by some of the yeah. DA members that were there. Do you blame what has happened to you on transformation? Yes. Many talking about the DA being a racist party, the many uh, having these perceptions. Is this what you feel deep in your heart is one of the biggest issues that, that's being played out here? Definitely, this is being played out, Leanne, because in 2014, when I produced a plan called the Organizational Development Transformation Plan, because I always said I want to take the city to the next level. And to do that, you need to change your methodology of planning, because if you plan the same way, you get out to the same result. And the resistance started then because some people just don't like the word transformation. You know, there's some connotation to the word for them. And I persisted and I had to present this plan several times to the federal executive. Finally, uh, the plan was put into the manifesto of Cape Town and then into the governance structure of the, the city when council adopted the plan in, in August of 2016. Now, then the resistance even heated up because now it is an official plan of the city of Cape Town. And again, that resistance to this plan was led by J.P. Smith. Mm. 
Mm. And even today, the spatial transformation is against the spatial transformation and is influence a group of people within the party against spatial transformation. Yeah. And I have insisted that we are bound by our constitution and especially the preamble of our constitution to transform our society and to transform our country. If we if we look at the relationship between yourself and the DA, obviously it's 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 been in in, in very bad shape and it's been playing out viciously in the public. Um, you know, he said, she said, allegations, as you say, false reports being released about you, and then holding yeah. back what is going to happen. And then, of course, we saw you at a memorial service yes. uh, with the EFF, and 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 it was an EFF memorial service, as much as we say that it was a memorial yeah. service, but it was organised by the EFF with you being there. Um, was that not a slap in the face to the DA as well? Uh, well, they certainly, lots of them had a problem with me attending the memorial service of the late Mama Winnie. Now, Leanne, in my culture and in my tradition, you know, when an elder person dies in our community, you, it's an obligation on you to go and show your respects, irrespective which uh, political party put together the memorial service. But I was asked and invited by the EFF, but so the EFF had invited all other political parties. The DA, Patricia Kopani, shared the stage with me. She spoke before me. And I was invited specifically because uh, uh, Julius Malema and, and, and Dali and Pofo, they know that I've been very close to, to, to Mama Winnie. And so that also became an issue. Now, uh, I hope that what I've seen in the media earlier this morning, that Musi Mamani also said that he will resign if the DA does not deliver. Whether they're going to take the same action against him, like they claim I have said that I will resign after I've cleared my name. And that is the double standards and the hypocrisy that we see in, in the party. All right, so let me just pause you for one second because we've entered into news time. You, of course, are our top story. I'd like to continue talking to you. But uh, for those yeah. viewers that have just tuned in, a very good morning to you. It is 7 o'clock here yeah. on the program. So uh, bringing you up to speed on our top story, the Democratic Alliance says it is confident the court will arrive at a fair conclusion on the party's decision to revoke the membership of ousted Cape Town Mayor Patricia DeLille. DeLille, however, says she will be challenging the party's decision to terminate her membership at the High Court on Friday. The party revoked her membership after a radio interview in which DeLille mentioned she had intentions of leaving the DA after clearing her name in court. Let's continue.